I'm Kitty Stojkovic. Um, I am a local jeweler and I work mostly in silver, a um, little bit of gold and copper here and there. Um, I've been a jeweler since 1994. Um, I love doing shows. The Concord Arts Market is great. I love doing the Concord Arts Market. I used to run it a few years ago, but now Krista runs it. And I think it's been going for 12 years now. So it's pretty, yeah, it's a pretty nice thing to come do. And, and it's great for artists who are just getting started too to just get a feel for it and get comfortable with showing their work and talking to people about their work. Personally, it gets me motivated as an artist to get a lot of work done and I, it puts a deadline for me. It's a three day show, so I have to, I have to really be hard on myself and get stuff done. Sometimes the artists can be a little like, oh, I'll do that later. When you have this coming up, you pretty much have to, you got to do it. So yeah. And also seeing everybody, like I haven't run into you in ages. So <laughs> I get to see different people because everybody gets out and has a good time. I'm Kathy Goodman and I'm from Franklin, New Hampshire. I'm a spinner. I spin yarn on the spinning wheel, which you can see right here. Um, and I buy fleece from local New Hampshire farmers and then online and at sheep and wool shows. And um, some of it I buy directly from the farmer and have to wash it and comb it. Sometimes I'll buy it already dyed, like from online, and uh, sometimes I'll buy I'll buy white fleece and dye it myself and mix the two together. And so I spin my own yarn, and some of it I sell as is. Some I knit into hats and scarves and mittens. I've always liked fabric since I was a kid. I learned to sew when I was a kid, and when I was in college. Um, there was a store that was teaching weaving and spinning and sold yarn and stuff and uh, it just sounded great to me so I took classes and I've uh, been spinning on and off since then so um, and I really like it the best of, of everything because it's very relaxing once you get into the, the rhythm of it. My name is Sarah Rose, I'm from Manchester, New Hampshire. So this project that I'm working on is um, a sibling to cyanotype. So you might have done sun prints maybe, that sounds a little familiar. Um, but I kind of turned it on its head and using and doing it called wet cyanotypes. And that means I'm either exposing while the emulsion's still wet on the paper, or I'm adding soap suds, saran wrap, turmeric, household bleach, vinegar um, to the emulsion while it's exposing, which gives me kind of all those different colors that I'm seeing other than just the cyan that would normally happen with the cyanotype process. So I really love alternative phot photographic processes. So that's automatically drew me here. Um, but I was also looking for a way to change the process that I really love so much. And I was, I went to Instagram, which is like the new Google for, for art, so found a couple artists doing something similar, but wanted to try putting my own spin on it. So there are other artists doing this kind of process. It's not unique to me, but um, I found it in during the COVID times that we are in has kind of been when I've been really experimenting with it. Hi, I'm Becky Sawyer. I'm from Hillsboro, New Hampshire. I am working on um, shrink plastic earrings that I make by using colored pencil, India ink, and handmade oxidized sterling silver um, ear wires that I also fashion myself for each pair of earrings. So each piece of jewelry that you see um, is created by hand by pencil drawings um, on a sheet of plastic that I then cut out and I bake it in the oven and then I can contort it after it comes out of the oven while still hot. Uh, manipulate it while it's still hot into like different sort of shapes and not just flat do you see they're super light and they're one-of-a-kind earrings basically got um, practicing more and more doing more and more drawing becoming better and better at it um, it turned into a, um, a profession instead of just a hobby 
Hi, I'm Connor Spurn and I'm from Concord, New Hampshire. Um, I am selling polymer clay earrings, so I kind of refer to it as the adult Play-Doh. Um, it's a really versatile medium that you bake in the oven. Um, so I've got all kinds of earrings happening, um, all different textures and styles. And then I'm here with my friend Phoebe from B1 LLC, um, and she's selling all sorts of homemade uh, essential oils and room sprays and body blends so all sorts of fun stuff so we got a big tent set up well i used to work at michael's craft stores i've always been artsy but was never an artist um, and i because i had an employee discount tried every single medium under the sun um, and somehow randomly got onto a youtube tangent from embroidery and learned about polymer clay and I tried it out and it's the first medium I've stuck with. So we're at about a year and a half now that, that I've been doing polymer clay. Um, and this is my fifth market and my first market days. Um, my name is Phoebe Axman and I'm actually born and raised in Concord, New Hampshire. So my business is B1 LLC and I do wellness coaching, yoga and sell essential oil products. Um, and we do yoga in the park on Wednesday evenings at White Park at 515. So I work in the mental health field and I learned a lot about how wellness and art um, provides a different modality of healing. So I really wanted to provide that for the community. I saw that there was a space for that. So I started doing art journaling workshops. I started doing yoga and then I started creating products so that I could be part of the arts market. My name is Katherine Jodovich. Uh, the art booth is Katherine Jodovich Art. I am originally from Long Island, New York, but I moved to uh, New Hampshire six years ago and I live in Dover. So this is all epoxy resin work. I took a little bit of the beach back home, moved it up to the seacoast uh, in New Hampshire. So it's all acrylic base layer, so that's all hand painted and epoxy on top. About three years ago, I fell in love with acrylic pours, which is just fluid art, and I made the waves with that. But then I found resin, saw it on YouTube actually, and I love the way it looks like glass, kind of became addicted to it, and now I can't stop. <laughs> My name's Eric Powell, I am from Quincy, Massachusetts. Uh, just, that's just South of Boston. So I do two types of artwork. I do screen printing uh, using black ink, uh, that style like uh, old Asian, uh, paintings and then I also have paper art as all hand cut paper uh, that, I'm, that I, I use an exacto knife and cut everything and make it 3D. I started off with the paper uh, I wanted to do something that was part of my ethnicity being Chinese um, even though I was born in, and raised in America um, so I started off with paper cutting and then started doing the, the screen printing afterwards. I just like creating so whenever I have a chance to create whether it's painting or sculpting. I mean, that's that's what I live for. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm, uh, I live in Bow. I'm from New York State, though. Uh, I knit and crochet. Uh, my grandma taught me when I was really little, and I've become obsessed. I've been crocheting since I was eight. I've been selling for the past maybe six years. It is good stress relief, as no, if no one interrupts you when you're counting, then it's the worst but it, it's good with stress relief everything's very tactile you can you can touch when the yarn goes through your fingers it's very calming my name is Liz McBride otherwise known as Elm Art Studios that's that's for Elizabeth Louise McBride and I live in Kentucky New Hampshire I am a, an artist of multiple media but the one that I brought here today and, and pretty much every day now is I do clay work and I do a variety, my favorite thing, I don't know if you can see these, my favorite is to make these sculpted um, clay faces. And so around my booth I have probably about 12 sculpted faces and some more on the table here. My process though is that what I do is I, I have two things that I do. I either create a, a rolling pin that I've carved, designs, clay rolling pin that I've carved designs into, or I um, take one of the, a pastry roller and I'll cut shapes out, put them on the pastry roller and roll those in. And so that really gives me this, this kind of one of a kind um, kind of surface on my, on my pieces. So, so this one was the, the cut out shapes and I rolled it into the, the surface. And um, the, the, you know, that's, that's one of the designs. And then this one right here, I carved into the surface. 
So it depends on, I carved into the clay and then rolled it into the surface. So it depends on, you know, the surface. I'm, um, I just retired from being an art teacher for 30, two years here in Concord. So, like I said, I, some of these, um, the kids will come in and say, oh, I remember doing a project like that. So not only did I do the projects with the kids, but I also kind of did them with myself. So, um, This is my first Concord Arts Market, Concord um, Market Days, but I've been doing the Arts Market. It was over in Bicentennial Square for, I did it for like three or four years. And then I just started the one in Rollins Park last year. We did our first one, and then we've done it this summer. Um, I love this group of people. And it's interesting, you know, like, we're like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. Can you watch my booth? Everybody will step up and help out. It's a really nice group of people that we work with. And, like, I don't see these people, and I come back and, like, hey, how's your, you know, because you get to know the other vendors. That's really nice. So. It's awesome. Everyone is super, like, Everyone's very welcoming. Krista, who runs it, she's really great at communicating the expectations, and everyone who I meet and talk to is always so friendly. I love being out in Concord. This is my second time doing the market, and it's just, I was very happy to be back here after having last year off. Uh, this year is a monthly market in uh, Rollins Park, um, but it's just a great, there's great people, um, and a lot of people who want to support local art. Everyone's really friendly. It's I have great neighbors on either side, and um, yeah, usually we're in Rollins Park uh, through the summer and the fall, and that's beautiful. So. I think it's great. Uh, the Concord Arts Market and the Car Concord Arts scene has, I think, grown over the last five to ten years. Um, so being a part of it is really exciting. I, I love it. I've been doing it for a few years now, and um, you meet all kinds of different people, and you get to see wonderful artwork and crafts um, that people local are making. And uh, it, it's just a real good community and a good outlet to get out and, and let other people see your work. And, and I always bring my wheel to show people what, what it is I do and how it's done. Um, so I, I like talking to people and kind of showing them what this historic thing is. It's great. I've met so many different people and even if there is a modality you don't do, um, I've learned so much from like Connor and other people and there's that really tight-knit community getting to know other people and I just love also the personalities that artists have. They're very like carefree so um, it's a great thing and this is actually like my side business. I'm a therapist full-time so it provides a different thing for me to do so. I really enjoy it. Normally we are at Rollins Park, um, which is on Broadway in the south end of Concord. Um, it's a big open field, big open park, um, really great for spacing out um, the tent so people have room to move around. You can bring your dog, bring your kids, they can go to the pool too when the pool is open. Um, but yeah, and that's once a month though. It used to be every week, but now we're just doing that once a month. Uh, it's amazing. Every single market I've done has gotten better. Every, I have repeat customers that people I didn't know before selling anything to them. So that's been amazing. I've come across people who follow me on Instagram and I don't know how they got my Instagram, but they've been following me and seek me out. Um, so I think that's really inspiring as an artist. Like I said, it's a year and a half in, which isn't a long time for you know, an artist to do art. So I think it, it keeps me motivated, it keeps me engaged, and then to just come out and everybody's super supportive and fun and friendly, you just wanna keep doing it.